Knock, knock. Who's there? Who, who there? Me and this and broccoli that I'm about <laughs> to make you eat. No, that's my whole. <laughs> I hate broccoli. I hate everything about broccoli. I hate broccoli. My parents tried to serve me broccoli in a bunch of different ways, and at the end of the day, as soon as they left the room, I would often just throw it away. Whenever I go out to eat with friends and I get broccoli on my dish, I always give it away to somebody else. I went on a date where a guy told me he was gonna cook me dinner, and it was a nice steak, which I love, and then a huge side of broccoli, which I hate. Do I eat the broccoli and hope I don't throw up? Or do I not eat the broccoli and then I'm the 22 year old who still won't eat her vegetables. So I ended up just pushing it around my plate. Never saw him again, so. <laughs> I just think there's no way that anybody can make me like broccoli. There is nothing any of these chefs can do to get me to like broccoli. It's been tried, it's not gonna happen. I don't think there is anything you could do to make me like broccoli. My name is Ross Panetta, currently the junior sous chef over at Pig and Cow. Been cooking professionally for about three years now. I'm Happy Healthy Latina, AKA Chef Yadi, AKA the Vegetable Slayer, and I'm bringing that plant-based natural Caribbean flavor to all the cooking that I do. I think I've been cooking professionally for about five years. A lot of the work that I do is actually with children, and so I'm constantly having to hide and tuck vegetables and blend them and deconstruct it and bring it in some way. Uh, I have to be a picky eater. Uh, since growing up, I've had a lot of allergies. You kind of grow around it, and you learn how to substitute things. With my experience with picky eaters, uh, it's a little bit difficult sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. At the end of the day, you gotta make everybody satisfied with what you do and what you cook. For all y'all picky eaters out there, we try and meet y'all. Come see us. Bring us our victims. Throwing it down. We're ready to make believers. We hear that you're one of these people now that don't like broccoli. Why is that? I don't like the taste, I don't like the smell, I don't like the texture, I don't like the color. I don't like the gag reflex it gives me. Oh, it makes you <laughs> gag! That's oh, new. That's a new level that's of new. hate. I think it's the texture, you the know? Texture. Just like the little fuzzy bits on the, the top of it. Florets. Oh. We learned something new today. Yes. I don't understand how you're supposed to eat it. It confuses me. Do I eat the <laughs> top? Do I eat the bottom? Do I eat it all at the same time? Our taste buds like change, our palates that's develop true. and change as we get older. I think you have this like, Scar with broccoli, but lots you may you may not have lots of scars, emotional scars. Yeah. Hmm. I think the only times I've ever been presented with broccoli, it's just been steamed, and it's just not. Well, this is what I'm always good. talking about. It's not that people don't like vegetables; it's that they don't do the same things to vegetables that they do, let's say, to like protein. Season it. Put yeah. sauces on it. What are kind of things you do like to eat? Spicy food. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like savory things. Very sure. herbaceous. Okay. Yeah. Like savory and like spicy. Well, I dance when I'm happy. Yeah. So like you're saying things that I like, so like savory, spicy. You're gonna be in a situation ship with broccoli after okay. today, okay? Right, I can get Not a relationship, that. just a situation ship. I'm a one night stem if I'm gonna <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. you. May the it. odds be ever in your favor. I think they're gonna go from hating broccoli to at least mildly liking it or possibly loving it. Who knows what is going to happen? I cannot wait to mix in Dominican and Caribbean flavors into vegetables. I decided to go two chains on this broccoli. I'm gonna make it two ways and I'm gonna deconstruct it. First, I'm gonna bring it into a broccoli corn and black eyed pea fritter and then I'm going to do a charred broccoli chimichurri sauce on the bottom. I don't think that they're expecting some heat, some spice, some savoriness. I'm bringing sweet corn into my fritters to balance out the broccoli taste. But my chimichurri has sofrito in it, which is a Dominican Caribbean green spice blend. So that's my kind of different little take on it. Got a little trick on my sleeve. What I'm going to be making is a corn aioli with the chimichurri mixed inside. People are always like scared about the flavor of broccoli. The char adds flavor and disguises the broccoli. If you like barbecue, you like anything charred, you know what I mean? I think that Introducing the corn with the chimichurri will make it over the top. So much broccoli. Mad broccoli, right? Mad broccoli, son. They said they like spice, they like herbiness, they like brightness. So I got jalapeno to get jalapeno face. 
I got some chopped cilantro for the herbiness. I'm coming back with the zester. So we've got some broccoli corn fritters here over a charred broccoli sofrito chimichurri with a jalapeno fresh cilantro and lemon zest garnish. We came to slay the broccoli game. So finally finished my plate. What we have here is a charred broccoli, charred corn aioli with sirloin and a charred broccoli chimichurri on top. One for each of you, get a composed bite. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let's go. It's not that strong of a broccoli taste at all. There's a lot mm. going on. Yeah. If it were not for the color, I wouldn't know that there was any like green veggies in here. I think that slight edge is gonna go to the veggie dish. I like the, the spicy jalapenos going on. This is really hard, because like both of them were really good, and they were both super flavorful. I thought it was interesting that both dishes also had corn. I think the corn masked the broccoli taste really well, but I feel like I prefer the appetizer dish over the steak dish. The appetizer dish was uh, had so many different flavors, and when I was biting into it and I was thinking about how many vegetables were in it, I was just like so shocked. And the steak dish was also great. The fact that it had like vegetables and, and broccoli on it, but I liked the appetizer dish. Dare I say, do we have some broccoli lovers a little bit? If it, if it was, did you love the broccoli today? I'm not a broccoli lover per se, but I'm a believer now that you can make broccoli tastes good if you have some bomb ass professional chefs prepare it for you. <laughs> My mom would be smiling really proudly right now, maybe crying. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think we slayed this challenge? Teamwork make the dream work, baby. It's lit. Broccoli! <laughs>